Hello students, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about Intermediate Junior Chemistry Important 8 Mass Questions. And these questions are totally based on your previous year question papers of Intermediate Public Examination for the State Board of Andhra Pradesh and the State Board of Telangana. So now first of all we will see what are the important chapters for 8 mark questions and later on we will discuss the important 8 mark questions which will come under these chapters. So actually you have 3 important chapters for 8 mark questions according to your weightage and all. So they are atomic structure, classification of elements and organic chemistry. So mainly these 3 chapters are very very important for 8 mark questions. So totally you will get 3 8 mark questions from these 3 chapters. That means based on the weightage of your syllabus and also based on the repeated questions in your previous examinations, we will expect three questions from these three chapters. So like this, they will ask three questions under section C. See, if you observe here, 19th question is from organic chemistry and 20th question is from atomic structure and 21st question is from classification of elements. And here the plus point is you have choice. Okay. So among these three questions, you need to answer for only two questions. So 2 into 8, 16. So if you'll answer for two 8 mark questions, then you will get 16 marks under section C. So now let's see the important questions which comes under these three chapters. So now let's start with the first chapter, atomic structure. So in this chapter, mainly we have three important questions for 8 marks. And the first question is what are the postulates of Bohr's model of hydrogen atom and discuss the importance of this model to explain various series of line spectra in hydrogen atom. For this question, your answer will be like, first of all, you need to put a heading, postulates of Bohr's model, under which you need to write at least 5 points. And then you need to write some points like 7 to 8 points on Bohr's explanation of hydrogen spectrum. And the second question is, what are the postulates of Bohr's model of hydrogen atom? Write the limitations of Bohr's theory and differentiate between emission and absorption spectra. So this is also very important. So half of the answer is same as for first two question. That is Bohr's model of hydrogen atom is same for both. And in additional, what you need to learn here is limitations of Bohr's theory and differences between emission and absorption spectra. Now coming to the third question, that is, how are the quantum numbers n, principal quantum number, l, azimuthal quantum number and ml, magnetic quantum number. And one more quantum number is there, that is spin quantum number, but that is not mentioned here. So now the question is, how these quantum numbers arrived at and explain the significance of these quantum numbers. So remember, while you are answering this question, you need to mention one thing. So first of all, you need to write like the quantum numbers n, l and ml arrived by solving Schrodinger wave equation. Okay. Afterwards, you need to write like the explain first point the position of electron and then second point size of orbit and shape and orientation of orbitals. Like that you need to answer for that question at first. Okay, so afterwards you need to explain all the three quantum numbers which were asked in your question like principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number. And at last you need to answer for fourth one also that is not mentioned here in this question. But if you need to get good marks, you need to write that spin quantum number also. Okay. And now let's talk about the second important chapter for eight marks. That is classification of elements. Under this chapter, again we will have three important questions for 8 marks. And the first question is what is periodic property and how the following properties vary in group and period. And the properties are atomic radius, electron gain enthalpy and electronegativity and final one is ionization enthalpy. For this question, your answer will be like First of all, you need to define the term periodic property. Okay. So you need to write the definition for periodic property and then you need to write the variations of given properties in group and period. And now here the second question is define IE1 and IE2. Why is IE2 is greater than IE1 for a given atom? And discuss the factors that affect the ionization enthalpy of an element. 
so this is also very important question and for this question your answer should be like first you need to write the definition for first ionization enthalpy that is for ie1 so then you need to write the definition for second ionization enthalpy and then you need to write the reason for why ie2 is greater than ie1 okay so then you need to mention factors factors that affect the ionization enthalpy so what are the factors that affect ionization enthalpy we know that atomic radius nuclear charge screening effect stable electronic configuration and penetrating effect so these are the factors under each factor you need to write their effect their effect on ionization enthalpy now coming to the next question that is third important question in this chapter write an essay on s p d and f block elements actually it is very easy to answer it is very easy to answer only when you have great idea about periodic table okay so you need to know the periodic table properly to answer this question so you just need to know s block elements p block elements d block elements and f block elements and you should also know the arrangement of elements and their groups group names and everything everything under their respective blocks in periodic table now let's talk about the third important chapter for 8 marks that is organic chemistry look at the first question so actually we have two questions here first one is about preparations of ethane and second one is about properties of ethane and here these two questions each carries four marks so totally we will get eight marks for this question and for this question your answer should be like first you need to write the preparations of ethane according to question a under which you need to write at least three preparation methods okay and as per question b you need to write chemical properties of ethane under which you need to mention at least three chemical properties with equations and more importantly you need to write equations for both preparation methods and chemical properties of ethane and second question is here also we have a and b question a is describe two methods of preparation of ethylene and b is write the reactions of ethylene with the action of ozone with the action of hypohalous acid and with the action of cold and dilute alkaline potassium permanganate and final one is with the action of oxygen and these all reactions are nothing but chemical properties of ethylene so here also the same thing for question a you need to write preparation of ethylene and for question b you need to write chemical properties now let's see the third question under which question a give two methods of preparation of acetylene and b how does acetylene react with water and ozone and here also the same thing question a is all about preparations of acetylene and question b is all about properties chemical properties of acetylene and here they are asking only two chemical properties they are reacting with water and reacting with ozone that's it now the final question in this chapter that is question a how does we get benzene from acetylene and give the corresponding equation and question b explain halogenation alkylation acylation nitration and sulfonation so this question is all about benzene we need to write benzene preparation method that is from acetylene and then we need to write some chemical reactions like halogenation friedel-craft alkylation friedel-craft acylation and nitration sulfonation which were asked in your question so these all comes under the chemical reactions of benzene for these four questions in organic chemistry you have chemical equations right so you need to represent that chemical equations in a very neat and clear format okay so especially in organic chemistry you need to represent the equations so you need to write the equations correctly without any mistakes you need to write the equations for named reactions or preparation methods whatever the question that may ask in your exam you need to write accordingly okay so this is all about the important eight mark questions of junior chemistry and if you want to watch more videos like this do subscribe our channel thank you for watching